All right, we're on video number 34 of the Amateur Extra License Exam Study. We're on sub-element 7 echo. Which of the following can be used to generate FM phone signals? That's a reactance modulation of a local oscillator. And I have a, a picture that I found of a reactance modulator. And this is the tank circuit. You have your FM wave coming in here, your modulating signal here, and that uses a variable reactance device. So reactance modulation of a local oscillator. And the next question is similar. What is the function of a reactance modulator? That is to produce phase modulation or frequency modulation signals by varying a capacitance. So reactance capacitance because capacitive reactance if you vary it then you change the amount of capacitance what is a frequency discriminator that is a circuit for detecting fm signals so the discriminator is like a demodulator and it takes the modulated signal and removes the carrier frequency and then gives you your data, which might be voice, it could be CW, could be FT8, could be PSK31. Whatever was modulated gets demodulated. What is one way to produce a single sideband phone signal? That's going to be to use a balanced modulator followed by a filter. Balanced modulator followed by a filter. What is added to an FM speech channel to boost the higher audio frequencies? And that's going to be a pre-emphasis network, also known as a high-pass filter. This is your signal that's going to be modulated and what happens is it passes through a high pass filter and then it goes to be modulated so this is going to pass high frequency and it's going to the the lower frequencies are going to be uh, blocked by just a little bit so that is a high pass network right there a high pass filter why is de-emphasis used in FM communications receivers? That is for compatibility with transmitters using phase modulation. So de-emphasis in FM communications is for compatibility with transmitters using phase modulation. What is meant by the term baseband in radio communications? That is the frequency range occupied by a message signal prior to modulation. Now, a message signal could be voice. It could be SSTV. It could be FT8. So it's the frequency range that is occupied by that message signal prior to being modulated by whatever it's going to be modulated by, whether it be SSB, FM, AM. Your voice... Typically, our voice is 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz, so that could be your bass band. Now, normally, we don't get that luxury in HF of having all 20 kilohertz or thereabouts. Usually, it's about 3 kilohertz, so you get about 200 hertz to 3200 hertz. That's your bass band, and that's the frequency range occupied by your message signal. What are the principal frequencies that appear at the output of a mixer? So a mixer takes two inputs or more. The two input frequencies of this mixer are going to take the two inputs and it's going to produce an output of the sum and the difference of those two frequencies. You can see here, this is the basics of a mixer. You have frequency in one, frequency in two, results in the difference. And the, the, uh, the difference and the sum. 
So two input frequencies along with their sum and difference. So you wind up with a whole bunch coming out of that bad boy. What occurs when the input signal levels to a mixer are too high? If, you, if your signals to the mixer are too high, it means that you're clipping. Clipping is going to make noise because it's a flat top. And to make a flat wave, a square, a square wave, basically, you have to have a sum of a whole bunch of sine waves to make it flat. That is going to be spurious mixer products are generated. So you're going to get some noise from that. How does a diode envelope detector function? By rectification and filtering of RF signals. And we have a diode one right here, envelope detector. It takes this, it can't deal with the HF. It's going to filter that off and only give you the modulated signal. What type of detector is used for demodulating SSB signals? That's going to be a product detector. Now, a product detector is a little bit different than the envelope detector. A product detector is going to mix it, it's going to mix with another frequency to demodulate that SSB signal. So a product is for SSB. We have made it to the end of this one. It has been a tough one. This one is probably one of the more difficult sections, I believe, that to try to understand and remember answers to. And I, I hope you are doing well. We'll join you on the next one. I'm Robbie, W1RCP. Thanks so much for watching. I hope it's been very helpful to you.